slides. Hit play. Hit play. All right. I'll do it real slow. All right. Once again, Austin, Texas, guys. I run a, a little show here. My slides aren't always going to match it, which is fine. But I'm a, uh, an active real estate investor for years. I've been teaching real estate investors how to buy distressed debt. Um, if you have an underwater mortgage, if you have made a payment in about 12 months or more, we focus on that specific niche in the real estate community. Make sure it's still going here. So one of the uh, utmost experts in my field, and I know a lot of you guys are doing podcasts, you've got big niches, there we go, that's my show. We are a really small niche inside that investment side community, whereas like fixed and flippers have hundreds of thousands of people across the world, in the country, we might see about 10,000 plus people in our specific little field, all right? And for those that don't know, if you've ever seen the big short, all right, then that's kind of what we do, all right? I mean, uh, the Christian Bale guy goes in there, I get these lists from banks, we work with homeowners, try to keep them the property the best I can. It doesn't always work out, but it does always work out well for us. And so, I don't know why I said that, but we started using video to get our word out on what we did years ago, all right? YouTube videos, using video.com. We use a lot of educational stuff to give content. This is before we ever did a podcast, okay? And I want you to keep up things in mind. We keep Super Bowl in mind and North Korea. Now, why do those two things go together? Now, as podcasters, we're always looking for an audience, and the Super Bowl is one of the biggest audiences out there, right, everybody? Yeah. But most people are just using the audio side of it. They're not using the video side. And as our podcast is our baby, we agree we love our baby, right? We want to grow up, be big and strong, and some amazing things for it, but we're not always doing the things to most, to give the, our baby the best chance of things. So in August 20th this year, we decided to launch the podcast side of what we do, and as of uh, just a couple days ago, we had our 88th podcast in the last six months, all right? We do it almost daily, Monday through Friday, for the most part, all right? And why I created the Super Bowl is we hit some magical numbers. In the last six months, we've had over 60,000 downloads, which is pretty exciting for a niche podcast, which is big enough to fill the U.S. Bank Stadium where the Super Bowl was, okay? And that's why I think of things. But literally, we got pregnant nine months before November 1st, 2016, when we decided we were going to do a daily little video, a daily Facebook Live video, and we had 150 of those episodes take place that were anywhere from like eight minutes long to an hour and a half. And those 150 episodes, and I'll tell you this, guys, don't search for women giving birth to get a lot of weird shit that little shows up, okay? <laughs> so people with 150 episodes without being a podcast, yeah, we just did it to hone our skills. We went really kind of low tech. We used Zoom to record the shows. We've got a Blue Yeti mic. We use a Logitech webcam. That's our technology. We're not using the big screens, the green screens. Literally, it's me whether you like it or not, okay? <laughs> but what we love about Zoom is that it does live stream straight to Facebook or straight to YouTube. And obviously YouTube's the second largest search engine and Facebook's the largest social media thing. So we get a very large audience. And in those 150 episodes, it built a really big following for us. The point is our Facebook Live views on just our 88 podcasts, we've got over 35,000 views on those alone. On our Vimeo channel, 12,000 for the 88, and another 37, actually 40,000 views on that. And YouTube had almost the same numbers as well. But that's just one part of our facet. We believe in something called the marketing octagon. And I don't have time to go into it, but we take our show and we redistribute it. We put it in different places. We use all the social media things and all that Google choose to really drive content. And I could not go through this in 15 seconds, so I just started this little slide up there. Because everything either leads back to our show or to our website, for our workshops, for our mastermind, for these online events that we do, you know, three or four times a year. Now, the power of video is there's over a billion views on YouTube per day. That's crazy. 80% uh, of those are 18 to 49 year olds, and then you also have the average of 40 minutes per view. All right, that's doubled in the last year. Now, when I start thinking about video and going from audio to video, I think about Howard Stern. Now, he's got a face for radio, we all agree, right? <laughs> Not a very looking man, but when he moved his show, got picked up and started doing video, it blew up. Now many people are sitting there with a new podcast, sitting in a stadium by yourselves, producing content, but nobody's listening. And you're wondering, why isn't my mom the only one that's listening? Well, if you're using video to help it get the word out, you'll eventually be filling stadiums up. 
And if I hadn't done this video, I would have never had the bigger views that we have so to the point where our videos are filling enough views to fill the largest stadium in the world, which is May Day Stadium in North Korea. So my final thing is if you're starting a show or just have an, you know, an audio show on your podcast, film it. Use the video. It will drive activity. It will drive sponsors. I mean, we've been very fortunate. In the last couple of weeks, we picked up two sponsors and then literally uh, making a lot of money off it. So that's what I have to say. Use video. Thank you very much for that.